Hello, everybody. Yeah. Welcome back to the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. When we left our heroes, they had just entered back into the dungeon, finding on the first floor the, the two-head tribe of goblins slaughtered. They went down to the second floor, the Arcane Chambers, and found there the goblins of the Tall Market slaughtered as well. And it was then that Bones began to worry about the Skull Takers. A mad dash down to the third floor ensued. Matashtai and Bones are able to outpace Ezra and Ashes a bit and find themselves rushing through the Dwarven Crypts on the Sargoth level. Rounding the corner in the slanted hallway towards the old spider-infested caverns. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm east of the temple complex before rushing in to the old temple where you fought um Terissa, Ter Terissa. Oh, I forgot her freaking name Terissa. I was thinking Talara and I was like that is oh, not correct fuck. Jay, oh. I made you an item, and I forgot to give it to you. Oh, shit, yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, dog. <laughs> we totally do um, that. We can totally do that here in a second. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good good, good job me. remembering that. Yeah, right? You, the, the two of you rush in to the temple complex to find... A bunch of really grumpy, exhausted, kind of sourpuss goblins hanging out. Um, Pibble and Groin are there. Uh, you kind of rush in with with anxiety on your face. Um, yeah, I got my face on. Like, off I'm, to I'm one side, cats up and I'm... the cavalry are kind of like doing these little charge motions against some uh, some dummies. Pibble and Groin, like they see you rush in and and they kind of hey. Hey boss, what's what's up? They're not concerned. Okay, I take a minute. I take a breath. Okay. Nothing. Nothing went on. Out of nothing... the corner of your eye, right? Like as you're kind of like you're pausing. Hey. Okay. All right. Out of the corner of your eye, next to one of the pillars. You see the hulking form of an owl bear and a row of unfamiliar faces. All right, so this is happening. Um, we post up. All right, cool. Um, take a second. You guys, you guys, good? You're good? Oh, uh, well, I mean. Uh, honestly, boss, um, uh, uh, how to put this politely? Never make us train with those fucking hobgoblins again. I have never been so sore in my fucking life. Okay, but no one has come to try and kill you what? recently. What? No. Oh, oh, oh! You're you're talking about them. And and Maybe. Pibble kind of points over towards, and you see, there's this, there's this, you know, obviously there's an owl bear and there's a cl small cluster of goblins, but there's also yeah. a bug bear there. He's like, oh no 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 no. Uh, we we heard about it. We got some. Uh, it's strange. It's first time ever, boss. I feel like we're actually like a tribe. We got refugees. We are a tribe. All right, hold that thought, and I wait for Ezra and Ashes to catch up. <laughs> and they're, they're finally, like, tailing in at this point. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Okay, so they're alive. Great. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. They're, oh. they're... 
I think I feel I feel less bad whenever haste runs out. Jeez. Oh. Just, he's got he's just got the stitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's over here like, oh that was a good warm-up. Alright. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, all right, so we sit down. Um, all right, so tell me what happened. What happened with the tall market and the two heads, and what do you guys know? Oh, uh, uh, Pibble and Groin know very little. Um, all right, do, do any of them know? But they will help mediate, um, and one of them, um, actually a couple of them, I say, I say a couple of them, two of them... Uh, begin to kind of like argue with each other for a second and while that is happening one of the other ones one of the remaining ones uh, steps the forward other one. uh, and as this one steps forward you kind of recognize them Damn, is the one who I but it's very clearly it's very clear that they recognize you and as they step forward the owl bear steps up next to them I mean okay step up um That's and, fine. and the the individual um recognizes being the the one that went to take care of the owl bears during that altercation sure um and uh, I, I'm I'm not aggressive. Like I'm just standing here. I'm just I, I'm probably sitting down. He at this also point. doesn't seem aggressive. Nor does the owl bear. The owl bear actually looks really fucking sad. Like it looks like there's crust coll collected around the owl bear's eyes, and it just looks it looks depressed. Like hmm. it moves forward after him, um, but its its whole form is just like slow. And and this goblin yeah. is steps forward and introduces himself as as Oz. Um and he tells mm. you that um he doesn't know much. Uh just that some people attacked the tall market, started killing everyone. Um some of the goblins tried to flee. The goblins at the outpost found out, and they tried to rush back to help, and then they got caught in the hall and almost completely all butchered. He and and Big Beak barely made it out, and you can see there are cuts and wounds down the backside of Big Beak. Um, and the bugbear that's there um, steps forward and in a very gruff voice... Um, kind of uh, explains what they witnessed as well. Mm -hmm. They were in the tall market. I was going to say, as I recall, most bugbears were with Yak. Yeah. Um, and it describe basically what sounds to you like an adventuring party that's rolled through with a kill first, ask questions later attitude. You know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like a party whose DM did a bad job of explaining that it was a market and not a camp. Well, who knows what it had devolved into with the with Evitz. Hey, what happened to Evitz? Um, the bugbear, Braralk, uh, tells you that he fled... When Evans went down. Okay. Um, and Yek? And when Yek fled. When Evans went down, the morale of the the market kind of broke and everyone fled. He doesn't know what happened to Yek. So mm -hmm. Yek may live. Oh, Evans was actually fighting. Well, that's positive. Makes me hate, hate him slightly less. Um, okay. So they haven't come through here? Nobody's seen them? We've had regular patrols still going? Like, who are they? Racist. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the the bugbear can kind of describe them. He, he describes uh, there was this kind of crazy 
frothing at the mouth man um, that had kind of bluey skin and wavy hair. Um, there was a really short, um, dark-skinned person uh, who had um, kind of like this radiant glow about her. Uh, there was a lizard person um, who shot beams of darkness uh, out of the tip of a rapier. Um, and then there was a... I mean, the way the way Baralk, the bugbear, will say it is there was a, a devil person um, mm. who uh, who you know, just seem to be a hunter. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Weird they haven't come down this far uh, yet. Was, uh, what, a, a water genasi, a deep gnome, a tiefling, and a... Warlock. Well, well a warlock of some descript. Interesting. Hmm. Gotta say, though, firing Eldritch Blast from the tip of a rapier? Pretty stylish. I like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's I wonder pretty, where he got cool. that one from. I, some, where, where? Am I supposed <laughs> to know that? Is that a reference? Uh, you, you are the only one who does not get that reference. Quincy in, in the Sunless Citadel game, uh, Group A, did that. Jay's character uh -huh. did that. Uh, that was that was my move. Interesting. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Well, hmm. I was that's pretty worried. I'll be honest with you guys. But you know, you're still good. Um. All right. Thanks, Oz. Take take a talk with Pibbles and Groin here for a second. Uh, he gives you a nod. Um, he doesn't seem to. You can tell across his face, right? Like he doesn't seem to. He. He seems depressed, but he doesn't seem shell shocked like some of the others do. Mm. Gotcha. All right. So, how have they been? When when did they arrive? Uh, uh, when did they arrive? Y yesterday. Yes. This happened yesterday. Okay. Oh. Mm, wow. Yeah. We were uh, we were just wrapping things up with uh with Lurkana and the legions and we rolled in we were cooking a uh, evening meal and yeah you so... wrapped up for the day or your training is done oh 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 we're done please say we're done well <laughs> well we'll see um we're, <laughs> we're strong boss we're real strong we we can we're prove it to strong. you we promise we we can we can prove it to you boss I sure hope so. We don't, we don't um, want to go back there. Well, you you might get your wish here. Um, um so sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 you're fine. You can okay, see so, um uh Balrin and Risk uh have walked up and they're kind of listening to the conversation. Mhm. Mm um how have they been or have they said anything about wanting to stay with us or Balrin and Risk? No, the oh. other goblins. Uh well, I mean, uh, we hadn't really talked about it uh, a whole whole bunch, but uh, I mean, they're welcome to stay with us, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, and this you is Pibble. Don't... This is Pibble and Groin, kind of like bouncing back. It's not one of them doing all the talking. Yeah. So what I'm ask, I'm just like kind of trying to ascertain if like they've been a problem. Like Pibble and Groin think that it's an issue to integrate them or anything like that. They seem. They don't seem phased by the situation okay because they're you know they're they're the leaders when i'm not here so <laughs> they're, they're kind of like you know uh uh okay having an owl barrier around is so cool it is it is cool it is cool a little worried yeah, that's uh you. huh as long as it doesn't eat you ah, i won't eat us big beaks are big strong. softy they're strong now anyway and besides I'm more worried about Marchesa eating Big Beak. Marchesa that, is a that goat will eat yes. anything. Hmm. 
It's true. That's true. I believe that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I will then go and address the refugees. Okay. Well, no. First, I will tell... I will tell my guys, um, and uh, we'll just assume I've had this conversation with you guys beforehand, um, okay? Like we did in the chat. Um, I think we are ready to move down to our own place. Do you guys think you're ready? There's uh, there's ex there's a, an Eric of excitement across um all of the skull takers there's a little bit of like you know there that excitement is tinged with mm -hmm. um the air of change and the nervousness that comes with the air of change but it's not tinged with fear right yeah 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 gotcha okay um okay I'm gonna clear the way, and then we're, we're gonna we're gonna clear the way, and then we're gonna come back for you, and we'll all go down together. So once we leave here, start making preparations to leave. All right. Sounds sounds good. Y'all, the man, the men. Okay. Um, then I will go, and uh, as I am, I'm going to go over to the other people, but I want to address, or look at, I'll, I'll get up and I'll walk over to Baldrin real fast. I'll say, are they good? Hey, is there anything go down that hmm. they're downplaying? Baldrin looks at you um, and says, um... Hmm, what would he say? Say... He would look at you and say, um... They've learned a lot from their time with the legion i'm not sure the legion's lessons necessarily stuck with them mind you uh they um they're a bit too wild uh chaotic for that i think but uh, still the the practice and the training seems to have done done them well uh, honestly i think your um your two heads there hibble and groin kind of shrugs and he and he says this and you you see when he says this he says it almost kind of like unwillingly he says either one of them is probably a match for me at this point hmm. okay wow the others less so but still far more formidable than your average goblin fan hmm Gotcha. No, no sign of that that party. You didn't notice anybody sneaking around. You're more okay. alert than they are, I, I think. Oh, I'm not sure I would necessarily say that. It's uh, you kind of put me in a cushy gig where I don't have to do much. Fair enough. Okay then. All right, I will move on to. Um, I will tap him on the shoulder, as if familiarity. Famil fam familiarly familiarly and um then I will go over to the refugees and I'll kind of gather them together okay and I will let them know um we're going to be moving soon you are welcome to come with us and be part of our tribe we're going to make our own space. Okay. And it will it's it's going to be us. It's going to be it's going to it's going to be the place for all of us and this tribe and if you want to stay, you can stay. And if not, I will talk to Azrock and 
I'm sure he can find a place for some of you. Um, all of the individuals here, um, there's a mixed set of reactions, right? But all of the reactions range from either interested, intrigued, right? Or, like I said, kind of shell-shocked and ambivalent, right? Like, uh, the concept of, like, they will probably just travel with you if you allow it. Um, regardless, like maybe maybe they don't stick around forever, but for now they're with you. But um, Oz and Big Beak, right? They seem very interested in the prospect, and then this bugbear Baralk seems very interested in the prospect as well. The other, there are three other goblins. Um, I believe, uh, Snot Snots. Yeah, Snot Snot, Thresher, and then um, a, a, a fourth, a third goblin, right? Um, that gets loud repeatedly. Um, and you, you have a moment where, um, during some of this conversation where uh, Snot Snot ends up turning to this other goblin and yells at it, you know what? I don't have to listen to you. You're not a foreman anymore. And then there's a there's basically like a cat fight for a second. Doesn't have to listen to me? No, no, no. She, she's yelling at this other goblin. Oh, um, uh, well, so yeah, fair enough. This other goblin's name is Cotter. But those three mm, seem okay. um, in varying stages of either interested or ambivalent or shell shocked or, or what have you, right? Okay, gotcha. Um, all right, cool then. Um, you're part of the tribe then, for as long as you're here. Okay. And then I go back to Pillow and Groin. Th that scenario, you see, it kind of takes Oz and Baralk aback a bit, right? Like. They are they're a bit shocked by you just integrating them without issue. Well, without a hazing. Think, well, without I think anything. If Pibble and Groin are strong enough to take on Baldrin, I think they can just kill them if need be. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Also, I mean, um, okay. Risk is here to back them up. Yeah, Risk is like a grade A badass, so really it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I love how honestly Risk is not even like that that like high compared to other things here, but it's just because I plugged him in a hole and had him dodge turn after turn after Look, turn. That you what guys he did like, was like, we love him. It He's was, the best. It was insane what he pulled off. Do That's not downplay his achievements, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Okay then. Um I look at the party, you guys say, what do you guys think? Um, two days to get down to six and then back? Uh, yeah, day I and, think day and a half, we're going to want to, we're going to want to take it easy just to make sure we don't lose anyone on the way. And no, it's just us right now. I want to go down first and make sure, oh, you know, oh, gotcha. okay. just make, make sure we know the path. Cause yeah, let's map the path. We haven't walked and we don't know what's going on. Are we having them take uh, boats down? To I figured we would or? we would put them all in the big boat. Will the big boat Our... fit down the river. Will the big boat fit down the river? Um, the you guys have been on the river for uh, quite a quite a bit of the river. The big boat. There are maybe a couple places that might give you trouble, but generally speaking, the big boat will go down the river. Should go down the river. Then if we can fit everyone on the big boat, yeah, that's a, that's a great plan. Oh, uh, the big boat fits what twenty twenty four people or some shit like that. Quite a quite a few individuals. It's, it's <laughs> big. Yeah, don't, it's we big. Need, don't we need to have people that know how to operate a boat? We just gotta have people that know how to pull a row. Cool. I play Sea of Thieves. It might be a little uh, awkward because you got you've got a lot of people. You've got animals, yeah. right? Um, you're also potentially going to be car carting a lot of gear and stuff like that, yeah. but it's doable. There just could be complications that arise. Okay, well, 
I, I still think that's the safest way to get everybody in one go. Sure. Yeah, I think that's the move as well. Okay. Um, I agree with this. Let's do it. I will let Pibble and Groin know that we will be back in probably about two days. Um, and uh, do what you can to be ready. We're on it, boss. Oh, uh, do, you, do you want us to, like, let the Legion know so they can, like, get prepared to, like, come in afterwards and take over this area and stuff? We probably want to... We probably want maybe to take it from, from here, right? Maybe we go through the Legion, meet with Azrock, and well, then hit the river a little bit uh, further down. Have we have we ridden the river from down south up to their inlet? I think we have, right, with the boatmen. Yes, that's the wasn't only there, place we have been on a boat on this. Wasn't river. there that weird archipelago? Not archipelago, but, go, but Bermuda Triangle area. That would we would cross through that if we hopped on the river up by us, I believe. Well, that's where I I intend to load in, essentially where we loaded in, right? Like when we fought the drow. Yeah, there's a there is a narrowing. There's a a part where the big boat would not fit through. You'd have to go past and look and like. Okay, so we need to load in like. Uh, south of the throne of the coronal, is that what you're talking about? You could do that. So we just need to go straight. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Okay, yeah. I, I mean, I guess we can go talk to the legion if you think we need to, Jake. I mean, Ezra. I mean, it, it might not be a bad idea for him to know what's going on, so... I, I, okay. I think that's fair. Okay, let's let's go talk to the Legion. Then I'll say I'll tell him no, no, we'll go talk to him. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um. And I tell them to um. Be sure you're wary of whoever caused that mess up up on the other floor. They do. They listen to you. Yeah, they're they're they, goblins though. They do not seem nearly as concerned as you probably think they should be. <laughs> oh, okay. Got it. Okay, well then I guess we take off to go to the Legion. Yep. And as we're walking, I say, "Oh, ashes! Hey, I forgot this," and I uh, pull out a uh, brooch. With a um, well, a brooch, just like a clasp, like a big cla a big like circular goat goat uh, horn clasp, with like a big long flowing black veil type thing coming off of it. Mm-hmm. So here, I made this for you. Oh, 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 awesome! Uh, it's basically a half cape. It sits up, curls up over your shoulder, and then straps down one side of your chest. And then sits off the the flowing black cape sits off one side of your shoulder. You know what like called, a shoulder because cape. I played Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and they were like a prominent thing in there. But I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, thanks. I'll... What's it do? I call it. It looks cool, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does look cool. It yeah, does, I call it. It actually um, looks really cool. It's kind of hey, got sure like that specks that... in it. Um, in the black flowing, uh, kind of like silk of it, it's got these little specks. It almost kind of like when it, when it waves at just the right scenario, it almost kind of looks like a starry sky. Look at that! Whoa, that's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Hey, make sure that doesn't get in the sunlight. Just as an off note. Um. Anyway, so I call it Teresa's Fall. And um, basically, you know, if you will it, it'll uh, it'll 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 watch your back. It'll protect you. It's okay. a re- reaction to get uh, plus two arm or plus two AC. It basically gives you the parry reaction. Okay. Does it have a number of uses, or is it just any time? Nope. I don't believe just so. Any time. 
Ashes has a reaction now, boys. Action. Just, hey. yeah. Ashes has a single Anytime. reaction. No, no attunement. Just. Oh, that's fantastic. Got yeah, Perry. Hey, Huey. And if you, you you will it to do it, it basically the cloth jumps up and tries to harry attackers. Yeah, kind of looks like a little, uh, kind of looks like a draw woman sometimes, you know. It kind of like <laughs> floats up and and around. The Dementor. It's like a Dark Souls ring that does something like that. Yeah, I think there the is. Souls oh, there? I think in Dark Souls Two, there's a ring that has like backstab prevention and it has like a little ghostly figure that'll pop up behind. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, all right, all right, then. Dude, uh, thanks. Thanks a lot. I, I appreciate it. Anytime. All right, then onward to the Legion. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, uh, you guys, <laughs> after the mad dash, right, you can make a yeah, relaxed... Kind of walk. Yeah, a relaxed... Uh, journey to the eastern Stromkolder ruins where uh, you are hailed, recognized, allowed uh, to pass without without being stopped or anything like that. Make your way south and then west up Make through level. the outpost leading down to level four. Um, and you're actually yeah. heading to Azrox Hold this time, right? Yeah. Okay, so you head up into the western Stromkolder ru ruins to Azrox Hold, uh, where again, right, you're hailed. Uh, you, you no longer have to, to be checked in. Um, people kind of like, they see you on the streets and they whisper, right? There are a few furtive glances in your direction, a few glances that are somewhat suspicious as they watch you travel through the Legion's territory. Most of them are respectful um, mm -hmm. and eager to see you, but there are a handful that kind of like look at you with suspicion in their eyes. Yeah, well, fair enough. We did harbor a draw. All right then. Um, if your if your intention is to seek uh, audience with Azrock, yeah, then in a matter of minutes. Yeah, we just wanted to talk to Azrock. Yeah, and... you you are. Um, you know, someone asks you, you know, if, if what what can they do for you? They run ahead. They let Azrock know you're coming. Um, there, you have to wait for a few minutes as Azrock is finishing up an audience, um, and then you're you're escorted into the feasting hall that serves as a throne room and meeting audience chamber for for Azrock, the Legion commander, um, and. No longer the, I mean, still relatively dour, you know, in fairness, right? But no longer the, no longer the secluded, covered individual. This Azrock is leaning forward, a hand on his great sword, uh, eager to discuss things with people. Um, you come in and you're you're announced. Azrock stands. And inclines his head at you. Friends. Okay. What have you come for? Hey, Lord Azrock. Good to see you. You look great. Um, he kind of tilts his head, right? And he's, uh, he, he doesn't reply with, like, the same. <laughs> well, he's blind. He can't see. <laughs> um, but, uh... <laughs> first, you know, I wanted to thank you guys. Uh, my boys look strong. You did a, you know, I really appreciate your help with that. Your tribe. They are unruly misfits. Well, so am I, so it's fine. But I would consider them worthy auxiliaries. High praise. Um, high, high praise for them, for sure. Um, I wanted to let you know we will be moving down to the lost levels soon. I'm going see, to scout the, the You see path. his face kind of like scrunch. Mm-hmm. Because by you, you mean your skull takers. My tribe, yes. 
and uh, like I said before, uh, the Legion is welcome. Uh, if you wish to send an envoy or an embassy, we have the room, and we would welcome the help. I think, I think that a worthy you know, consideration. You know all about building something new, I think. As I am pleased for you and your kin. It's comes at somewhat troubling times, but I will not seek to hinder your progress. Thank you. I appreciate that. We leave in approximately two days. And the territory you leave behind, now unguarded? Unfortunately, we can't spare the people to leave here. It obviously should return to you. He makes a, you know, he makes a kind of like sour face. It's like, indeed. Well, we will see what must be done. Also, I should warn you, uh, the tall market and another tribe of goblins on the second floor were decimated. So there's yeah. a group of unruly adventures, I think. 10%. We have had word some refugees made it our way. Oh, okay. Y'all too. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yet another complication in these trying times. And you can tell, right, like, there, he doesn't say it, but there's that air of, this is what the Skull Takers were for, were to protect that flank of the Legion. <laughs> but now they're leaving, so they're no longer going to be there to protect that flank of the Legion. Yeah, well, there's a lot of space between that room and the Legion, so. Yeah, it's true, sure. I think it'll be okay. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I get it. Um... Have there any been any developments with the uh, Xanathar initiatives? Anything we should know about? What day is six? For me, it was a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Yeah, I think, um, I think logical. I think he says... Shit. Yeah, I think, I think it's logical. I think he says... Things are progressing... Rapidly. There's been several skirmishes... I believe we will have open battle with the Xanathar within a few days. Uh, with the Xanathar, huh? Where do you expect the field of battle to be? The guild as a whole is what I meant. Oh. But gotcha. I would not discount the option of the beast Doing its own dirty work. Wow. Okay. Do we expect that to happen here or elsewhere? We have not yet decided what our best options are. There are some spaces between the hold and um, Skullport. That would make good fields of battle. Should battle become necessary. Okay. Well, we're with you. If you need us. You are. Oh, I am. It, 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 was, was, not, was that a question? It, it, it might not be a bad idea to... Um, it it was a question. Pictures. I, I look back at my my the dudes the guys. I I mean a a crippling blow would send a ripple. 
I mean, the Xanathar already wants us dead. If we want to deal a decisive blow to them. And I look back at Ezark and say, we are. Yeah. You see a look of very brief, right? Uh, um, a look of relief flashes across his face and then it's gone. Right? Masked. Mm -hmm. Um... Like, like there, there's a question, right? Like, if if you are are uprooting and leaving with the skull takers, right? Like, what's the likelihood that you're gonna stick around and be a staunch ally, right? That type of thing. Like, sure, still be an ally, but actually be like there. You, know, you, there, you the see, you before. see that pass across his face. You know that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Also, gotcha. notably, Lurkana is not here. And hmm. you, I don't think, have ever met with Azrock without Lurkana being there. I mean, oh, she back in the, in the sun? Own. Maybe. Okay, cool. Um, yes, um, yeah, we're, we're with you. Um, I'm sure you have someone that can cast Sending or... We will check in before we leave. Should to things make sure. become dire, I will deal with the Preta. Contact you. Preta Creeper. Mm -hmm. Preta Creeper. Hey, out of curiosity, where's Lurkana? She she around? She's been a he, great ally. I just wanted to... He looks at you and he says... And you see his, his chest kind of swell a little bit. He says... Due to circumstances recently changing, my mate now leads in the field where she does her best work. He no longer needs to be babysat. Okay, now, is he proud of that? Like, he's like, oh, she's out there, like, leading the battle? He seems proud of it, yeah. Okay. So it's not like I don't. She's need to where she, she's where she should be. Like yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Finally, I will ask him. Um. Or I'll let him know the place we're going has many portals. Arch stone archways. Hmm. Yes. Uh, can we? We s get a look at the one in your hold again. He, yeah, so he says, um, sorry, I'm, My... I'm loading up, uh, I'm loading up names. <laughs> he says, ah. I can't remember his name either, but I liked that guy. Like the one in Rolvuk's chambers. Yes. Yeah. We, none of us could remember what I it looked like, so. No reason not to. Okay, cool. Um, we are gonna take that look, take a look at that, and be on our way. He snaps, and like... and one of the uh, one of the hobgoblins steps forward to kind of like lead you over to Rolvuk's quarters. Um, and uh, you're there in less than two minutes, assuming well, your conversation we, is done. Before we go, because yeah, before we go, I step forward and I I, I I reach my hand out and I say, "Thank you for everything you've done." On the, on the, you know, down, so he can be, you know, above, obviously. He steps off of the platform um, where his, you know, dark iron throne sits. Um, and he's a little bit taller than you, but not by much. Um, oh, wait, oh, how tall are you, actually? 6'6". Six, six. Okay, he's not taller than you. He's oh, taller. You really he's tall taller cat. than the average hobgoblin, but he's not that tall. He's like six. <laughs> he's like six two, six three, somewhere in there. I can never be right. I can never be like a super long cat neck. Look, I can never be six six in real life. So I'm six six in the game. Hell right? yeah, absolutely. Be a six six dwarf, man. Wait, let's do it. Okay, so he so he does what now? He's he's he almost steps as tall down. As me? He steps down um, onto the same floor as you, right? Kind of like negating that uh, you you holding up, um, and he mm -hmm. takes your hand, 
clasps it. He doesn't he doesn't take it. He clasps it and he mm-hmm. pulls you in and slaps your back hard Aww. with this dark mm-hmm. iron gauntlet. Man, we have right? we have a little bro. It hurts. Like it actually like hurts. And you hear like okay. a half second afterwards, you hear this kind of like this clash as like every other hobgoblin in this place slams gauntlet into breastplate. Damn, that's so cool. Seeing this, Ezra just takes a a, 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 a step back, not even realizing it. Like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he releases you. Nice. Yeah, I return it. The, the bro hug. You have been bro hugged. Uh, and he says, <laughs> go, do your investigations. Let my people know what you find. And good luck moving your kin. Thank you. Hopefully we meet on the battle against the Xan- on the battlefield against the Xanathar. Out. Right, oh, another character's gonna die to a beholder. This is fun. Incoming! <laughs> no, no. Savage. You know what I'm thinking about? You know what I'm concerned about? This battle's gonna go fine. We're gonna ruin these people, right? We're gonna come back up to the surface. Tavern leveled. Occupants dead. That's yeah. That sounds right. As soon, the Xanathar has a uh, a dead man switch on his heart. As soon as he <laughs> dies, boom! <laughs> Troll Skull Alley's gone. <laughs> Just like the, the whole, whole alley. alley, not the just the bar. Alley. The whole yeah. it's a it's a thermo. You guys, device. you guys just think he hasn't been doing anything against you for a while, but secretly he's been laying TNT under the entire alley for months now. It's it, our entire it, staff so works powerful. for him. Oh yeah, there There's you go. Five it's, five barrels of oil, each with a wand of fireball attached. Nice. Jesus. No, it's a <laughs> necklace of fireball. So oh, like you're the beads right. that explode. Nice. All, all on a dead man switch on the dead man's heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like I've oh, like I've never had these yeah. types of ideas before. Are you kidding me? I love the idea of a bad guy with a dead man switch. That's oh, yeah. so funny. Okay, the, cool. So yeah, in the right campaign, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we just right. need to go and yeah, yeah, yeah. So is. you guys head over to Rolvuk's chambers. Uh, the the hobgoblin that leads you over there. Shorg the Fury, right? Um, leads you there, wraps on Rolvik's chambers. Um, Rolvik appears and, and sees you, hails you, welcomes you into his chambers. Um, and what, you're just investigating the... Um... Yep, yeah, Ezra's going to take some time to, to actually get notes on this goddamn portal because it somehow... Yeah, because we all forgot. Uh, yeah, I should have forgot there was even a portal here. I knew it existed, but I don't I have no memory of what is on it. being a fucking guillotine right on the other side of it. I, I remember the guillotine, yeah. I Embedded that. into the west wall of this this room um, is an arch gate. The keystone of the arch is carved and painted to look like a gold dragon wormling with its mouth agape. Mm, okay, so do we think fire or gold? Coin, maybe? Um, gold Dragons love dragon coins. Wormly. Try yeah, try gold. Try gold piece. I put a I put a I put a gold in his mouth. And the symbol is at the uh the crux of the arch? Yeah, it's at the keystone. Keystone. Uh um, oh, maybe I flip the, flip the gold into I try both in his mouth and then I just try and flip it into the portal if that doesn't um, work. Out. The nothing seems you Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you see just the barest spark of light in the dragon's eyes uh, as you oh, put damn. as you put a gold piece into the mouth, but nothing else happens. Mm, I wonder if that means we're not strong enough, or more gold. I had two gold. Um, anyone wants to roll me an investigation check? Astro. Not good at those. You yeah. would get advantage yeah. for this due to your spectacles. 
Okay. 14. God, 14. I am rolling. Not that's, great. That's okay for this. Um, you're only on the third level of the dungeon. This isn't this isn't like the 18th level portal, you know? Then, yeah, I would have preferred like a 20 or higher. Here. Sure, fair. Um, Ezra, while you all are kind of like looking at this and Bones begins trying to like put coins in the mouth, coins in the portal, etc. It occurs to you that the the mouth of the dragon that is a gate is shaped kind of in a very common cut for gemstones. Uh, Bo Bones, do you have any um, amethyst? Now, yes, I would say I the amethyst that. is not that cut because the amethyst not, is like okay. wild it, it, shit it that like Bones is has got. Like a diamond cut or whatever? Yeah, yeah. So it, it, um. Yeah, it seems more like a. It's a common jeweler's cut. Okay. Right? And it's, hey, it's vaguely in that shape. Hey, Robert, do you know what that. opens this? Do you know how to open this? We do not. Gotcha. That's why okay. we installed the guillotine. Yeah. I mean, I'll Safety. grab tinder box, light up a torch real quick, just stick it in there just to make sure fire doesn't do it. It does nothing. In fact, it doesn't even seem to peel the paint. So it's definitely money based. But it wants a gem. I have some gems, but I'm unwilling to. Mm. We just sold all of our gems. Yep. Well, I, I kept a bunch, but they weren't, they're not real expensive gems. They're just, you know. I mean, if, if there's a jeweler in, or someone that, that is trained with the, the craft, perhaps we could see if they could confirm our theory by using a cut. When we return, they can answer the question whether or not the portal activates at the very least. All right. God damn it. Um, I have two fist-sized emeralds. I pull out a fist-sized emerald. Okay. Look like? Does it look like it go in there? Potentially. <laughs> I hate everyone. I hate everyone and everything. I put the, I put the emerald in the mouth. How much is this emerald worth? <laughs> I don't know. A hundred? Two hundred? They're from the mount the 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 roper bellies. Ah, okay. Uh, I I can uh, look that up. Uh, that is gonna be ah a hundred each. A hundred G each. Okay, got it. I will notate that. As soon as you put the gemstone into the gold dragon wormsling's mouth it <laughs> slams closed the gem shatters into a billion tiny little fairy dust pieces and My gem. spectrals down and as it does you see it go <laughs> and form a silvery hue across the archway damn it okay well now we know what opens it. <laughs> that was a hundred gold lesson on what o opens that. All right. All good to know, I guess. It's unfortunate you had to. That was the next step to find out. out. I hand over to me. platinum to bones. Oh, nice. Nice. I take that. I do somewhat, not question it in any way. Somewhat mitigating. Form. Do not question it any shape or form. No, I don't like. I accept it. Yes, this is mine now. Okay. It, it makes it hurt a little less. Uh, Fair Ro enough. Rolvik. Yes. We, so, so we we have learned that this doorway, how it operates. I expect you to relay this to to Azrak. Indeed. I while we are down there, if we find its sibling, we may find a point where we need to use this. 
Is there a way that you can mitigate your defensive mechanisms so we aren't immediately um... destroyed? Um, he kind of like he's. Hmm. How is it activated? Is there a tripwire? Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay. Well, we could just yeah, step we, over we the tripwire. The last time we were here, that's I remember that bit. Is, is it under or over? It's basically in. It's basically strung through the archway. Oh. It's pretty much like uh, now that you, now that the the archway is active, you can't even see it because it's actually mm -hmm. in the silvery portion. Okay. All right. This is this is what I'll do then. I will take my because I want to see if this works. I will take a ten foot pole, and I will try and trip the trip wire. Through the through the open portal. It doesn't trip. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> it it's, well, it seems as though while the portal is active, the trip wire does not exist in that space. Okay. Well, we've learned two things here, Rolvik. Uh, one, that's a worthless trap. And uh, two, it kind of like he crosses his arms and he looks very, very unhappy about this knowledge, but but also like, hmm. and he starts looking at other places in the room where he might be able to put traps. Uh, do we know? We don't know where the other side of this is, do we? We've never we seen have it. not found the sibling, to my understanding. Okay, well, I'll just be honest with you. Best based on what we've discovered, I will bet that it connects to the sixth floor, which is where I'm going. That's going to be my area. Um, so. I guess we'll let you know. Um, it's going to be expensive portal to use regularly. I probably will never use it. I'll go up to two. Two is just a piece of wood. Um, <laughs> okay, anyway. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Um, maybe put up a better trap. I, I don't know. Well, uh, he's or he's no, looking around. Uh, he's like, no. I'm considering building a wall. Please hmm. don't. With a that door. That wouldn't be... Door, door would be great. Yeah, can I have a key? But door. Okay. I yeah, don't see why the Legion commander would not allow that. And he's kind of looking around, and you see, it, this is his room, so he's kind of like looking. <laughs> like, how? Hmm. Uh, uh, hmm. May I may I request that uh, at our recommendation this location be turned into a, a security location and you be given that's his room bro proper recompense what and relocated uh, hey, yeah we're clearing the out of, commander we're clearing out of the drought the drought uh, old drow temple that, that might make a cool area like a cool outpost yeah, would you, you like to live outside of the protection i mean obviously that's region. up to you i'm just letting you know that that opportunity is potentially coming available you have your you know, have your own little outpost you were you were a cool guy cool war chief war band chief i can't remember what they called each other um general yeah anyway um i don't know it's, it's up to you what? Regardless, recommendation, we have learned that this is not as secure as we were thinking it was. This should be at least somewhat under protection, but shouldn't be a living quarter, if, unless you wish to stay here, but... I kind of think it's cool that he lives here. I mean, that's kind of what he had been doing. Like, he, he, it was his charge to keep this he thing under wraps. The yeah. the yeah. <laughs> right. So... But, you know. Yeah. Maybe he, just he, move, he, move he the says, He says he'll, right he'll, he'll, speak to, he'll speak to the Legion commander about um, what he wants done. Yeah, just move the trip rider right outside of it on the ground. Like, you know, that way we can just step over it. But other people, they wouldn't know. They'd get sliced. Yeah, every porter Ezra is going through first. Not that this hasn't been the case before, but it's gonna jump Ezra's as he goes through. through. Ezra is not going first. Fair. All right, cool. Well, thanks, thanks, man. Stay cool. By this point, by the way, the silver has shimmered and oh, disappeared, yeah. and the the portal is back to normal. Hundred gold. God damn it. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Revik. Rolvik. Rolvik. You, you picked this person to, to staunchly pronounce the name of correctly? <laughs> like, really, Zach? What can I say? You know I identify with weird stuff. 
Always and forever. Uh, hey, thanks for the sub. Passive, I, I appreciate it. All right, um, so you guys are done here. Your plan now is to head to the river or are you heading down to uh, level four? What's what's going on? Um, I think we should head to the Ooh, river because we plan on taking them to the river, right? Or Let's down the river. So much. All right, if, if you want to, yeah. Yeah, so let's head to um, the little inlet directly south of the old drow ruins, the drow controlled ruins, right? That's where we plan on putting in? Or do we need to put in a, like below that? Uh, well, you said that so one, maybe too small for our big boat? Yeah, there is one little section there, um, basically just southeast of of where you found um, the alabaster throne. Yeah. Okay. So we need to put in after that. We need to put in down where we know because that's a cliff, right? Yeah. At, well, at the cliff, you could um, you could feasibly set up the boat there if you had a way to like moor it or you know anchor it. And it's and already then... a rope there. And then just use the the cliff to, because I mean the boat's gonna be big. It's gonna come up off the the water. Oh, so, okay. I mean yeah, it's not it's not there. like a ship or anything like that, but it's gonna be like it's gonna clear like five ten feet of of the water to like come up the side, like a big long boat, you know that type of thing. How are we gonna get goats down there? Goats down where? Into the boat, off the cliff. Oh, it's only like a ten foot cliff, ten fifteen foot I'll... cliff. I was under the impression it was a much bigger cliff. Okay, no, never mind. Then. The, it's, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not much. Of, holy shit. What the what? Thanks for the gifted subs. Oh, shit. A train. Damn. Super hype train. Right, okay. Well, a let's bunch go of put random in... people just got fucking... Let's go yeah, put who are those people? So, <laughs> I know one of those. I know Sir Rosser, but I'm not sure. Well, I think I know Jafada. Um, I'm not sure I recognize all the other names though. That damn. Just look clear. I didn't know you could get a gifted sub not being in the yeah. chat. If you're not in the chat, it just randomly selects people. I think it's people that have been in the channel. Before, I think though. there's a. I think mm -hmm. it tries to prioritize that type of stuff. I'm not sure though. That's weird. Crazy. Okay. Well. All right then. Yeah. Let's go put in there and let's let's go on down. Okay. You guys head down that way. Um out of Azrock's hold past the the uh, legion outpost through the little winding tunnels down the side where you you know you got ambushed by those drow so many so many weeks ago um were you back to the to the cliffside where you first stayed in the dungeon overnight for the very first time um mm -hmm. And yeah, time. there's a boat place, boat place, boat place. There's a, there's river, there's water, place. and you're able to, you don't need the big boat here, but More are wine. you going to try to use the big boat? More no, we should can't. probably we don't, test we don't the have big enough. boat. To, oh, we don't have we don't have enough have, yeah, you don't really have enough people to crew it correctly. If you, if you, you could try the big boat and try to test it, but you're definitely going to run into issues trying to maneuver it without enough people. Yeah, we don't have enough people. Hot tree. Yeah, I guess let's uh, Thanks for the bits, stick Jake. with the normal boat then. Okay. Then you guys... Pivity boppity out of my pockety. Pivity boppity out of my pockety. Into the water the boat goes. Into the boat you all go. Down the river. The slow, lazy Sargoth you go um eventually you come into that um kind of like diverting currents area um the river tunnel bells out and you find yourself in skull port harbor with the sargoth turning southward and then the rest of the current going wrapping around skull island yeah, we're He's trying to go. To Sargoth. Yep. Yeah, we're trying to go southward. Turn south, continue onwards. The current picks up for a little bit here or there before you are slowly but surely 
brought into the the river depths of the twisted caverns um and you kind of you can mark where you are as you enter into the twisted caverns by uh, a sudden loud humming coming from the north from one of the tunnels oh yeah okay i was concerned and then i remembered it's the giant uh, you, okay you note uh now that you know where you are that mm -hmm. for the first time in this area that you've seen the river runs clean and while there is moss and the occasional patch of slime across the the walls and caverns it is not the sickly green twisted corruption that had been pervasive previously oh, yeah we did that hell yeah we did that you did that barely yeah. You continue yeah, to was... pass down <laughs> well, the, yeah, the riverway, eventually passing the uh, Kuatoa Refuge. It is empty. Hmm. They have relocated. Mm, probably to that fucking island. I was going to say, you think they took over the Ableth area? Yeah, they probably took over the... Uh, I mean, I guess we'll find out. We're going to pass that, right? You begin to head eastward past the Kuatoa Refuge, and you see it turns... The, the river turns Locked south and we go. begins it's to turn there. west, right? As well, it who? does, you see that little inlet. It's Cloak Boy. Mantis Cloak Boy? What? Who's He's Mantis Cloak Boy? The little Kuatoa that gave you the cloak. That would have been up on third floor. Oh, he he's he was like near the Xanathar's hideout. He was in oh, he was bad. in Skull Harbor. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, my bad. Never mind. So you guys see that little inlet that kind of like curves into the area where you had fought and defeated Ilune the Abaleth. Um and you don't spy anything immediately in there. Do okay. you do you go in there and investigate, or do you just continue on the river? No, I don't think that's going to be a viable path for Big Boat, so I don't it see It is a point. definitely not a viable path for Big Boat. Unless unless one of you guys want to. Okay, yeah, we, we keep going around Big Boat style. Shortly after that, on the south side of the, um, of the river tunnel, you find okay. an alcove where there's a shore, a brief shoreline and a, a little alcove cavern that is set back up into the rock wall away from the river. And within that alcove is the hulking dead body of a chul. Mm. And bones, you with your freakishly high perception, <laughs> You can see baby. from the boat, you can see um, the chul is covered in lacerations. Mm. All right, cut up chul. Uh, does anyone want to stop? I I'm okay not stopping. Um, I think we can assume who did that, so. Kutoa, be my yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I'll tell you straight up, Bones. It doesn't look like anything the Kuatoa have done ever. It doesn't look like it's done from weapons. It looks like it's done from claws. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, we know what, what was it? Hooked horror? There was a hooked horror, right? There's probably more of those around here. Probably something like that. Well, yeah, that's fine. Big claws or little claws? Far smaller than you've seen on a hooked horror. Oh. Hmm. It little takes claws. you about three or four seconds. Because, right, like, you're you're seeing this it, as maybe, you're traveling down the river. Maybe we should put in here and just check this out real it, quick. It takes you about three or four seconds as you're considering it, right? Before your brain clicks um, and you make the connection. Mm-hmm. 
think you've seen a tool cut up just like this before. This is... This basically looks like Ashes killed this thing. Oh. Well, Jay's, Jay's not here, but maybe we should put it in here and check this out. Maybe it's a dog dad clue. What do you guys think? Yes or no? What Do you, do you guys care? <laughs> we um, assume... Oh, you back. Sorry, guys. Okay. Hey, Jay, there's a tool that looks like a uh, lichen uh, killed it. Do you want to go look at it? A tool that, a tool that looks like it was killed by a lichen. We're on floor yeah. three. We just went through a, a, a loon's lair. We, we just went past it. There's a little alcohol. Uh, the sure, river. yeah. Like... Alright, All right, well, you, I mean, use your freakish strength. <laughs> use your freakish strength to steer us over there. Okay. Um, so, I mean, there's there's this brief moment of, like, you guys are passing it, and Bones is, like, staring at it hard, and he's like, Oh, wait! Wait, wait, wait! Wait! Ashes! Ashes, put it in there! Right? Like, I think I think Dog Dad killed that thing. You know? That type of, that type of situation. Right? Um, so... I assume everything killed by Lycan that was not killed by you was killed by Dog Dad. Killed by Dog well, Dad. I mean, you know Dog there Dad. are other Lycans in the Dog other mountain. No, no, no. no. This Dog is Dad. my assumption. Several. No, no, my, no, no, this no. is my assumption, With and it has been rats, made. Bats. Like. <laughs> nope. Everything killed by a Lycan that was not killed by you was killed by Dog Dad. Sounds All right. Accurate. Let's go look at the tool corbs. Yep. Absolutely. Um. Okay, yeah, uh, you guys set into this alcove. Um, this corpse is long dead. Um, dead for days and days. Um, maybe a week or more. But uh, it doesn't take you long, Ashes, to look down at this corpse and, and go, and then, like, look at your hands and go, like, yeah, it kind of looks like something I might have done. Um, behind the corpse, kind of set into the back wall, you see uh, there is a rowboat that has a good-sized hole punched through its hull in the shape of a tool claw. Um... Huh. Huh. Is there anything in the rowboat? Around the rowboat? Uh, doesn't seem to be. Like, in, in fact, I would go so far as to say that there's there's basically absolutely nothing in the rowboat or around the rowboat. Oh, well, there you go. Looks like this tool pissed off Dog 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 killed him. Broke his boat. Had to doggy paddle down the river. Had to doggy paddle down the river. I you know, can't believe you said that with a straight fucking that's, face. That's very discriminatory. <laughs> My god. I had to doggy paddle down the fucking river. <laughs> Out of here. Said what I said, no stand by it. Alright then, well, nothing else to say here, I guess, huh? Ashes, anything else? Nothing, 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 nothing. Is there anything for me to perceive? Aside from what I've looked at? I mean, not particularly. Um, All right. I would say roll me a d20. You got not it. Not a skill check or anything. Just Lost roll me a straight d20. Nine. Nine. Nah. Nine either. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, that's it. That's all that's here. All right, then. Well, back in the boat, then. Back in the boat. I never left. Well, good for you. All right, uh, you guys head into the boat. Um, you begin to the the current begins to move you again. You head more west southwest until the river begins to take you further south and then start to curve back east. You you can realize that you're starting to wrap around the southern side of where Elune's territory had been. You see a large beach to the south um, and a, a twisting tunnel leading away from it. Um, you see those two inlets that um, that you originally fought the Chules in um, and had your very first encounter with Elune in. 
Um, and then the river begins to wrap southeast and pull away from the territory of the Twisted Caverns. Now, now, now remember, there, there is the um, waterfall. Now there's a waterfall in there. Yes. Hmm. Is there a place to pull over before it? I think we didn't explore that side of the waterfall. So, as you guys begin to progress, basically shifting zones, going from level 4 to level 5, from the Twisted Caverns to the Willowwood, the pace of the lazy Sargoth River begins to pick up. Um, and you realize you are reaching that point uh where Willow had warned you about um, with rapids and, and waterfalls, um, that kind of like concept of the point of no return where she was basically like, you probably can't go back that way. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't, if we don't have another choice, we just no. gotta ride no. it out. Now, when identified this item the floating boat the yeah. folding bolt yeah did i get the impression that basic rapids and waterfalls and mundane could damage the boat oh, yeah boat boat can be damaged okay. um i mean it, it's a sturdy boat so i mean if it's a small waterfall and it lands in water probably fine it might be an issue of capsizing but the boat will probably be fine rapids again if you if you hit a bunch of rocks or it's really bad it'll damage the boat but generally speaking the boat's probably going to be okay so the question is does the boat sustain the shape it was in when it's folded when it's brought back uh it's kind of a i like to think of it as a scenario of like um it, if it sustains too much damage, it might ruin the enchantment. Um, yeah, but as good. long as the enchantment is not ruined, then given time, it will kind of like repair itself, right? In theory. I just want to ask the question so the group gets the answer. <laughs> Sure. As to what we're doing with this object. Very fair. Yeah. So are you guys taking the river down? I don't know another way to get there without we're portals. We're taking the river down, Jeremy. Taking, taking the river down. The ashes Just has made the around the river decision. bend. So it's my okay, fault. Okay, let's go. Wrong. We're gonna do some rapids. All right. Um. It gets intense. In a matter of about five minutes, the water begins to get choppy. It starts to foam white, and you hit your first set of rapids. That's just the alteration the between part. rapids <laughs> and small waterfalls um, does not stop for about 30 minutes. Wow. It is, <laughs> it is a short stint of a extremely scary and crazy waterway i need all of you to either roll me a strength saving throw or a constitution saving throw your choice gee i wonder which one i should pick I your dc is 18 by the way oh wow Woo! okay that's uh not great. I will use my ring to get advantage on this. Oh never mind, I have I have advantage on all constitution saving throw because I'm a fucking phantom. Okay. Um uh, so I'll just do that then. Um, you have advantage on every saving point, throw from uh, Phantom? Is, no, so. only constitution. Oh, okay. <laughs> and only when you have a uh token. Well, I'm fucked. Damn, okay. Dude. So Ezra and Bones fail, Matashtai and Ashes succeed, um, and you are able, it, it is it is difficult work, but you are able to all together work to keep the boat afloat, 
Um, you have a couple of bad scares. You have a particularly rocky moment coming out of a waterfall where the current actually jettisons you about 10 or 15 feet out. And the the boat starts to dip and the prow, prow plunges into the river and bow plunges into the river and almost fills the boat with water, right? Um, there's a couple of dings, scary dings with um, rapids, etc., etc. Um, but you are able to make it down uh, the river. The issue is, is that it is so intense, such a a fraughtful experience that Ezra and Bones, as the water begins to even out. Um, you find your muscles clenched, your whole body's stiff, and you both gain a point of exhaustion. That fucking blows. Okay. That was an exhausting experience. I agree. With yeah, it's basically it was just a one of those pure natural exhausting experiences. As I'm going through all my spells, going, oh god, oh god, what can I do? That probably won't be as bad in a bigger boat, though. Um, and Probably it is, not. it is at that I point would, that you make your way so. onto the Sargoth River surrounding the Willowwood. Um, you come into view of the first trees on the western shoreline. Um, you see the first sign from Willow saying, Harm not, lest ye be harmed. Um, and the river flows south, southwest. Eventually, the bridge, or some of the some of the ruins on the west, come into sight first, right? Um, and you can see placid animals at the the river's edge that don't startle as you kind of approach, right? Um, the, the wood itself is, um, uh, it's daytime, right? Um, so the, the dome of the sky is well lit and beaming down sunlight. The river begins to wrap eastward and you Hold see on. something... Um east so we're past the dragon already no you're not past the dragon yet it begins okay, to kind of right. curve yeah, slightly no, past... pa back east oh i understand um, okay and you find something that you hadn't seen before i don't think um there is a small um tunnel hewn into the rock of the eastern wall of the river um leading slightly up but there's a rowboat moored um, to the small beach outside of it. Interesting. Well, we we have a boat. Okay. So you pass by. You have a need um, for a backup boat? Not where. How are we gonna? We can't, it, it, that one doesn't fold. Fair enough. Okay. You think that was Dog Dad's boat? No, dog dad boat got destroyed. Everything's by a dog dad clue. Everything. You know how deeper into the dungeon he is, right? Yeah, but he had no. to come to some point. Clue. Clue. Like I also, I also am willing to believe it's a clue, but I'm not willing to investigate it, unless Jay wants to. I'll say yeah, that. Fair enough. I mean, sure. Yeah, I'll go investigate it. Okay. Boat number two. <laughs> All right. Well, Did you guys you are kind of like get peer pressured into checking out a You guys are pulling up boat. alongside the boat, right? Um, and you can uh, see like it, dog it's hair. it's just a boat moored to the to the beach there. Okay. Hey, actually, um, here's a question. Um, didn't the dragon say he talked to Dog Dad? So wouldn't that mean Dog Dad just walked across the bridge? Potentially. That's one. Why? Well, I mean, we don't know any other. We have not really been into the forest other than we went in the the exit and then left out a portal. So, 
Well, we've been all over the goddamn forest, first of all. Right, I'm just and saying we don't know the normal entrances, whether they be by water or bridge. I believe this is the normal entrance, right? She told us that. It's up to you. I'm just saying, if he walked across the bridge, I don't know why he would have been, been here. Um... No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not worried about it till we get further in where we know he is. Okay. Well, I guess okay. we leave it alone then. Uh, just a, a minute or two past, you see the um, bridge and the earthen ramparts, the fortification atop the kind of like earth uh, hill, mm-hmm. where you had met Tirali the dragon. Um, is this is this your destination? I actually don't know where your destination is. Where are you guys going? Here's my I question. Either. I think we were getting uh, off on the willow. Yeah. So here's my question, Jeremy. Uh, is this river? Um, you said it, it calmed down quite a bit. Is it calm enough that we, if we needed to row back, we could? Uh, yeah. It would. It, it would be an arduous task to row against the current, but it is possible. I don't remember any way. I don't remember the river at all. Um, past like here, past this shore. Do you guys? Um, like when we yeah. came up from six, it was through a wall, right? Yeah, we went through like a tunnel or some shit. Yeah, the our little map doesn't show the river, like any connect connection to the river at all again okay so we need to get off before the dragon i think we need to get off before the dragon's area yeah because there's that hole in the wall that we need to go through right we gotta make sure that when the goblins get here they know not to mess with anything yeah don't mess with the trees yeah we we know we'll i'll let them know all right <laughs> That fucking face. Oh, it's going to be a running battle to get the goblins through the fucking willow wood. <laughs> you like bird and cats. Everything is going to go to hell. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so. so you guys put in um, on the western bank before you make it to the bridge and the earthen fortification. Um, you begin to travel. Uh, bibbity bobbity back in my pocketing. Um, yep, body back in my pocket. You begin to travel west through the wood. Um, the the wood itself has acclimated somewhat to your presence, to your smell, to your being. Right? Um, you still don't find woodland creatures just frolicking about you, right? Uh, but the sounds of the forest don't die down immediately upon you being anywhere near, right? That type of situation. Um, but you head west, uh, kind of stumbling your way through the choked primordial forest until you find a, a a break in the trees, and you're able to, pretty shortly after that, ascertain your location and then find the tunnel leading hey guys, down to the can sixth we, can level. We check, uh, can we check to make sure the T-Rex skull is there? I don't want to promise my boys it's there if it's not there. Uh, where was that again? Oh, that was in... It was in Mobar's... Yeah, yeah Mobar's like area. area. We can just, just quick would... in and out. Sure, we can okay do you. a look and see if it's there. Okay, just quick quick in and out. Just make sure it's there. And if it's not, well, I guess I'll just kill everyone. Uh, I've decided I don't want to attend this trip. I'm, just, I'm not going to do that, probably. <laughs> you uh you head down south uh southeast into the ruins of the cultists of Malar uh their former encampments uh and you see again right the the mass quantity of ancient weaponry and armor um the signs of battle uh, you make your way to the tabernacle where you had split the the altar to Malar. 
and the majority of that butchered corpse of this T-Rex is there, uh, including the stone. What's not there, oh. um, or s skull, yeah. What's not there, it very notably, is there's not a drop of blood in this thing's body or any residue of blood on the ground from where you butchered it. There's, there's nothing. There's also oh, no sign or sound really i mean there's some distant kind of like flapping and the occasional like far off screech right but there are no werebats in your vicinity notably no werebats in your vicinity fucking <laughs> mobar okay well whatever at least it's still here all right i appreciate y'all checking yep no problem it's a uh, Easy enough jaunt back up to the northwest, uh, to the the entrance to floor six. Uh, the the bored hole in the wall from the umber hulks that just carved their way through. Um, and you follow it down down to future Goblin Town. That's yeah. Jeremy. How long have you been thinking about that one? Uh, about 20 seconds. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that was pretty off the cuff, actually. <laughs> All right. All right, I think just quick walk to the to the heart, and then we leave. Just make sure it's safe, and because th that's where I think we can set up originally, like, to start. Okay. All right, a... All right. sounds good. Um, it takes, you know, it's, a, it's again, it, these, this is a hike every single time you, you do this type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you um, you come finally into the break in the wall um, the ground levels out uh, and you realize you have arrived now at the sixth level the lost level um, and you begin to head immediately to the heart yes You make your way there through um, a series of rooms um, into the the um, get, what's that room called? The foyer, the antechamber, the the whatever it is. Um, you hear this booming voice um, of Halister oh. Black Cloak. All oh, right, right, right. We've got to <laughs> find a way to dispel this. This is fucking. Uh, it's going to be annoying. I don't know, bro. It's his dungeon. Okay, hey, this is the dungeon of the Mad Mage. Maybe we just don't use this door. The antechamber of the... Uh, block, just block off the big door? I and mean, yeah. The door? That might not be a bad idea. Not like right this second, but yeah. yeah. Right. Um, and then you uh, open the doors and enter into the nave of the heart of the mountain. Um, the navel. Notably, as you enter into the nave of the heart of the mountain, it is not filled with dead bodies. Oh, that's concerning. Um, and as you step forward into the the glowing light cast by the quartz pillars that surround the room of the nave, right? Um, just very, very unannounced, very nonchalant, right? Up out of the ground, uh, right next to you, Bones, appears Moss. Mossy! Oh, hey, buddy. Hannah. Wobbles and grinds. Seems tired. Oh, have you been cleaning up? I ask him and Terry. He grumbles back at you. Does that mean yes? What does it mean? 
This means he it, seems, this isn't the old ways. He actually seems like a little like sulky. Like he doesn't want to talk to you. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You want some amethyst? You hungry? <laughs> yeah, I give he, him some amethyst. He, yeah, he 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 reacts with like yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, give me that good, good stuff. All right, I give him a chunk of amethyst. Takes the amethyst, grinds it up, um, and is suddenly a little bit perked up. Um, and uh, almost immediately after grinding the amethyst into dust, um, responds to you in Terran and says, um, along the lines of, Big one said make presentable. Ah, you've met the darkest rain shadow. Grumble, grumble. <laughs> fair, yeah, fair, fair enough. Okay, well, great job. Honestly, great job. I give him another piece of amethyst. He holds this one. He's he's That's not fine. a glutton. He he, I, yeah. he he takes it. He puts it in like a little like notch on his head. It's kind of like almost kind of like a, the... like putting a, a chipmunk putting something in their cheek type thing. Yeah, yeah man. He, he knows when to hold them. I, I get it. Okay. Well. Cool. Yeah. Uh, is, when is he around here? Or what did he? When did he? When did he show up? <laughs> right. <laughs> And again, Ash is, is just kind of standing there listening to this conversation. Like, <laughs> he's kind of he's kind of glum, but he says he says nodding along. <laughs> he liked old picture, staying there. Mm, okay, okay. Um, I, that is the triangular room, right? Yeah, the one motif with the giant Zorn being fed. Yeah. Yep. I probably go say hi to him once I got people here to take up the old ways. Um, okay, cool. All right, well. Mossy looks at you and he says, Where we go now? I am going to go and get my f other friends to stay here. Friends strong? Yeah, they're pretty strong. Probably good. Not sure. Place safe. What? Uh, what, what, what do you mean? <laughs> Ezra responds in Terran for the first in time. Terran, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for the mat, like <laughs> you know. Am I the only one that missed this class? <laughs> Still places. Fair, I don't speak shit. I only speak oh, common. the language. You speak into people's minds. You have the ultimate <laughs> power. Okay, still places. Uh, yeah, Masi says still places unexplored. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. I think we knew that. Has there been any movement out within places explored? Scavengers. Threats. He kind of like looks at you with one of those eyes, and then he, and like then he says, "Then he the says, <laughs> not to me." Yeah, Mossy is strong. Yes, he is. Wait, well, he, he right. looks at all of you fleshies, and he's like, "Things are less yeah. inclined to try to eat him." I mean, that's true. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna bring my friends. This is going to be our place. Mossy, you continue to be the best. Wait for things to get back to the old ways. That just means living in harmony with the Earth Bros. I learned that. I went to a dwarf bar. You weren't there for that. Uh, yeah, I wasn't. 
I'm a, so That's you've right. got detailed information on in the exact specifications. Detailed, on the old exact. Way. Yeah, it said live in harmony, like you know. I maybe we, didn't say every single syllable no, but I basically said them yeah. All right, we, Ash. Work, we work together. <laughs> all right, Ash. <laughs> we think they're cool as shit. They help us out. That's how it works. It's the old ways. I wish we Makes would have sense. spent another couple of days up topside. I asked you to look into it. You actively chose not to. Yeah, I wanted no. to compare notes. Because you're doors immediately wanting to go chose. through portals, and those are a bigger threat to me. I wanted to uh, compare notes of Ezra's research versus Drunk Dwarves. So, um, but it didn't happen. stayed up there longer. We could not have. As evidenced right. by my tribe nearly getting wiped out. So, as you all kind of finish up things with Mossy, you've arrived now here in the nave of the Heart of the Mountain. Um, what is it that you guys want to do? Are you exploring the rest of this level, or are you leaving and going back to floor two or three now? Or, I feel like or we should what's fully the clear this level. Okay, yeah, that's probably a good idea now that he's saying there's unexplored areas and threats. Also, for verification, who is the note keeper on? Is it is it just Jake who is keeping notes on gates? Jake, I, I've been typing the names of them on the actual map, but that's about it. No, I take that back. I I, I have a section in I my notes have... for dungeon info. I have not been tracking teleporters. Uh, I... I like, half-ass remember when it's convenient for me. That is, I that have, is true. I have, you like, do half-ass remember. I have, like, the names of the ones we know about, and that's about it. Okay. I think I think Jake has a whole section. I think I have 18 marked. All right. 18 gotcha. Gotcha. different floors, or the 18th floor? Eight, 18 portals. Four. I have no time. Oh. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them are currently on this floor. Yeah. What notes do you have on ones on this floor? Let me look. Six floor. Where does six there, floor? Uh, there is dancing door. There is wine pouring out. There is the one that's connected to the animals. Um, there's the one... Uh, that's the one we came through. Is there, is the rust one on this one? I think the rust one is on this one. All right, so I have the six stone niches, empty, stylized in image of a mountain with a sun symbol overhead above the arch. That's where that's, we entered. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. We have the key to that, too. Or we had. It was on, I, I got, we got it from Mecha Dorgar. Yep. We've got the symbol of the rust monster, which is what we use to get back up to the... Uh, yeah, 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 rust gate. Yeah. Uh, One, four. two. And we've got the images of the beholder flump and sturge strewn about the border of an archway. I have no fucking idea on that one. We have no idea where it goes, but it's found in a secret passage to the southwest of the library on the sixth floor. Oh, Okay. We have um, the images of dancing dwarves. Yeah, yeah. Found in the northeast within the armory mm -hmm. chamber. Mm -hmm. There's a trap at the door, by the way. Don't forget. We don't know where that one goes. Uh, we have the images of the scantily clad elves with fingers over their lips in a hushing action. Mm. Found to the east of the nave of the mountain on the southern wall. I don't know where that one goes. Is that yeah, in the nave the... of the mountain? What? In the nave? East of the nave. East of the nave. Okay. We've got the decorated images of dancing goblins and a large capital D at the keystone of the arch that is also found to the east of the nave on the northern wall within the same chamber as the goblin one. Okay, yeah, I, I see. I know what that is. We have the hand-shaped indentation with the sigil for magic carved into the palm. 
found in the southeast. Uh, Ezra's mage hand was apparently enough magic to open that gate, but we have no idea where the hell that one went. Is that um, in the room where we found the tuba? I don't remember that. The tuba I, might have been in the armory. No? The tuba was in the music room. Uh, that is that is the same room. Okay, so yep. Yeah. That's the same room that there's this massive pike, pipe organ that plays throughout the entire level. Oh. We also have the icon of a gold dragon wormling appearing to breathe fire forward. Oh boy, I wonder. Have we finally found a connector? Uh, wait, I think and we found it. To the Where's south. It? On the sixth floor. The south? Where in the south? Uh, we also have a hand pouring liquid from a flagon, also to the south. Uh, I took roughly a pint of a liquid to open it. We, we don't, we feminine, don't know dwarf, that uh, feminine dwarf with her eyes closed, keyhole in the... So many portals here. God. ...hammer that she is clenching. I know where that one goes, because we have the key to that one. That one goes to Slither Swamp. We, I think. I mean, the, the poem says, find her twin and slither swamp. The dwarven key by Rizzerol opens this door. And it's found to the far south of, on the sixth floor. And then the... Uh, two more? I have one more. One more? One more, yep. The mirror with dozens of lidless eyes around the border. The gate cannot hide from those it cannot see. Found in the heart of the mountain. Uh, and our thought was maybe invisibility. Sounds we have right no to idea me. where the hell that one goes. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay. Those are that. That is my list of six floor portals, Jeremy. How am I doing? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven is what's marked on the map. There was. Uh, I wanted to verify because you guys just went through the trouble of checking out one of the portals and there did not from my point of view seem to be an aha this is that other sections portal there are 18 rows of text here it's hard <laughs> so, to, so i wanted to i wanted to double check and make sure that it wasn't missing information right that i hadn't given you the information or or what have you right so. well now it makes, now we know where it is read through it on a regular basis apparently shocker i know cool all right, so your plan is now. Sorry, we got we got off on a tangent. Your plan is to finish exploring this level, or are you just heading back, or are you doing something else entirely? Whatever you guys want to do. If you guys do, you guys think we should expo finish exploring the level? I think if we don't, I we're inviting do trouble. We yeah. Okay, then yes, we're gonna finish exploring the level. All right. There's not that much more, I don't think. Doesn't seem like down it. In, down in the southeast, mostly, it looks like. All right. So, um, you all begin to march off towards the southeast. As you do, Mossy begins to glide through the earth beside you. Uh, seemingly intent on rejoining the adventure. Hell yeah. Finally and... got our DPS character back. <laughs> back honestly. And that is where we will pick back up next week with um, more exploration of level six of the dungeon. And uh... and then we'll see um, if it's an easy trip back to the Skull Takers and if it's an easy trip down to the sixth level or if crazy shit happens in between here and there, or, you know, maybe there's a war with the Xanathar in the near future. Who the fuck knows? Uh, war. We'll see. We'll see how this all pans out uh, next time on Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Thanks for hanging out. See ya. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.